Okay, I'm going to give you a quick look at the Google add-on form mule. This add-on allows you to automatically email uh, information or data collected through a Google spreadsheet. So let's say you have a Google form that you want people to fill out, maybe one like this, for them to sign up for breakout sessions. And as the day uh, draws near, you want to be able to email out all the people and remind them what sessions they have signed up for. So Formula helps us with that. So let's go to the spreadsheet. Here are the spreadsheet spreadsheet submissions. Obviously, there'll be a lot of them if you're doing this for real. So let's run Formula and see what happens. It is an add-on, so you have to go to the add-ons and get add-ons if you don't already have it. I already have it, so we're just gonna go launch. So you can have a, a couple options here. The trigger is, is it automatically sent or is that turned off so you manually send it? So if you turn this on, the email is sent automatically on form submission. Okay, then you get a couple other additional options down here that you can look through. Okay, we're going to make this a manual. Okay, you can also set it as a timer to go off at a certain time. Okay, so uh, we're going to first, of course, we need to select form response number one. That's where our data is. And, the, and that's the, the, the tab with all of the information we will need for this. Okay, let's go to next. Uh, we're going to go with one unique template. Let's name it template one. And we're going to send and use it for all the rows in each submission. So we'll just save template. You can make multiple templates if you want. We'll just do one for now. And we'll go to next. So this is where we build and preview the template. If it has an asterisk, that means it's required. Okay, so who will receive the email? So when these emails get sent, where are they gonna go? So we're gonna click in there and we're going to add email address because that will email the, um, the data or the information to the email address provided in each submission. Uh, if, we wanted to, if we want them to build a reply, we can have, it, have them build a reply to the person in charge of the event. Subject, you can type, type it in. You can also just use these tags over here. These are set up for that, okay? Now in the body, we're going to set up what the body of the email is going to look like. We'll go um, the person's name. We will then um, go session one. And then we'll do the tag because then that'll actually send out what they're doing. We don't even need to do what I just typed there. We'll do session two, and that should be it for now because we just want to remind them what sessions they sign up for as the in-service draws near. So let's go ahead and preview, see what it looks like. So for us, we're doing this uh, manually. So again, we can take a look. This is what it looks like. Subject, in-service breakout, it's going to whatever email address was provided. I used mine for both, so that's why it's both there. Uh, in the body, it'll just say name once again, and then the two sessions they signed up for. So we can send now, we can cancel and send later, but if we send now, that's gonna go out, and it uh, adds another column over here that shows you exactly what happened, that it did get sent out, and that, in fact, uh, it, it worked, okay? Now, um, maybe there's a use for students. Um, it gets a little sticky with the use of the email addresses. Um, but maybe you're organizing an event with adults through your school, professional development, sign up for something, and you want to be able to email data from a Google spreadsheet. Formula, Formula is the tool for you. All right, good luck. Thank you.